What's going on, everybody? It's about, what time is it? 1.34 in the morning. Another late night rip with Pat in Oregon. So today, the remaining five blaster boxes that came from Tops. And for anybody who's shipped from Tops, you know how stupidly long it takes for anything to come from Tops to get to your house. So almost two weeks for this to get here via FedEx home delivery. So Tops is pretty terrible with that, but what are you gonna do? One of the few places you can get cards at a decent price, so worth the wait, we'll find out. This will probably be the last blaster boxes of Chrome I open up. I do have one more box of that new Hobby Light online exclusive. Uh, scored one of those for a hundred bucks when they released, so that will be hopefully opening up here, showing up here in the next two weeks because it just shipped yesterday. So, gonna go ahead and just get these all opened up. Uh, the last video where we opened up the three from Target got. Some pretty good pink parallels, some rookies, Joe Adele, I think also Alec Baum, and got a really cool um, Vladdy, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. negative, which uh, I saw on eBay was going for like 75 bucks. So, keeping that one for now. So yeah, I haven't ripped a you know ripped a couple of these. Um, like I said, those will probably be the last ones. Thirty bucks a pop. It's kind of hard to justify, um, especially with football coming around. I'm sure a lot of you are maybe switching gears now into picking up some football cards. Um, I've got the uh, Donruss Donruss hobby box. Hopefully, open up that this week. Should be picking that one up tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And last one. Giants hat in the corner here. Awesome come back. Awesome come from behind win today against the Rockies. Complete the sweep. Also picked up a game on the Dodgers who lost in St. Louis. So that was a good day. Tavares. Gonzo. Oh, Kepler. Not crazy there. Love the 86s. Um, these were the cards I first started collecting when I was a kid. And when I saw the 35th anniversary for these in um, Flagship Series 1, that's what got me back into the hobby after 30 years away. Sure, I'm not the only one who f falls into that bucket. Yamaguchi, Chapman, Camposano. Oh, nice. There we go. Nice sepia of Otani. Meadows, Olsen, Lester, Future Stars. What have you guys' thoughts been on Chrome? I know it's been kind of love hate. Price has gone down quite a bit. I bought a hobby box when it launched for 240, which I thought was a good deal when everybody else was charging 300. And I've seen a few places now um, under 200. So we'll 
we'll see. Maybe worth picking up a box and just holding on to it for long term. See what happens in a couple years. See how some of these rookies pan out. Pujols. Darvish. Prismic Power. Inserts are really nice. I mean, on top of the 86s, Prismic Power, the Baseball, and the Future Stars. All pretty decent this year. And again, if you're new to the channel, this is my first time getting back in the cars, like I said, in about 30 years. Um, so I've been kind of sampling everything this last year, picking up a little bit of every set that come that has come out. This is Hoskins. Yeah. Um, and, you know, did my Allen and Ginter and did my Heritage and trying all of them out just to kind of see. I mean, especially when it was so hard to grab anything in retail and just kind of grab whatever you can. But um, definitely will be narrowing down what I'm collecting next year. What do you got here? Perez. This guy's been knocking bombs like crazy. Kind of sneaky, sneaky power hitter. Mistake is, mistake is. So for me, definitely Bowman was my big addiction this year. Picked up a ton of Bowman. Um, probably about six hobby boxes worth. So that was fun to kind of go through. And Goldschmidt, Prism. Oh, cool. Juan Soto on the pink. These are nice. I, I like these pink. I like the pink cards in the CP, and I like the fact that they're mixed in with the rest of the packs. I know people maybe have complained that the old value packs is to have them spe separated out in a different pack. Well, I've seen too many people do that. Just buy the chromes and then sell the value packs or sell the um, parallel packs separately, but this way, it's all just kind of mixed in the way it should be. Bomb rookie. So my plan is to build the set. You know, I was going back to when I was a kid. Always tried to build the set, and uh, still like doing it. But it gets kind of uh, um, too expensive to start doing that for every set, especially one of the harder ones like Her uh, Heritage, which had all the. Uh, there's a Debbie Garcia. Yeah. Get into the ones that uh, have short prints and everything. So, you know, learning my lesson that trying to build the sets, maybe not worth it in the long run. Just buy the factory set when it comes out toward the end of the year. Um, still kind of hard to avoid. Just the fun part of doing that. Again, just flashing back to when I was a kid. Castro. Cabrera, Mr. Five, 500 Homer Cabrera now. <sighs> Let's see. Why don't you give me a Prism Jazz or Cronenworth? Jolito. Oh, Varsho, I've been getting so many of this guy's autos. Arizona autographs are all over the place. Him and, uh, what is it, uh, Smith, Pavin Smith. Oh, Pache, another rookie. I think he's still down in the minors, though. <clears throat> Rendon and yellow inserts. Big Meat Pete, still one of the worst nicknames, sorry, can't get into that one. That's just standard Bart, okay, well, still need a prism of his. <clears throat> there we go, take Cronenward.
Yeah, I was really bummed the Giants didn't get the chance to play against him. Um, Mets have kind of sucked lately, but it uh, would have been nice to see the Giants lineup go against the him. Sam Huff, CPA. So many of his cards. I want like a rainbow going out of these blaster boxes for him. It's on eBay if anybody's interested. Blake Snell and Ryan Braun. You can find me on eBay as well. Uh, Pat and Oregon Sports Cards. A lot of the cards you'll see here may end up on there. Center guard. Oh. Oh, nice. Awesome. That is awesome. It snuck up on me. I am definitely keeping this one. I actually pulled uh, from Striker Breaks. I got a blue um, blue wave out of 75 Mount Castle Parallel. Not autographed, though. This is awesome. Sweet. That is... That's a boom. Awesome. Mount Castle has been my adopted um, rookie from the AL. Um, been PCing a lot of his stuff since the start of the year. Got a lot of good parallels. Got a couple autographs from him already from some other sets. But that one, that one's going to be good, being a blue auto. I think that's going to be, that should be the 75. Sweet. That's ex I'm excited about that. Another Spencer Howard. There you go. Vladdy Sepia. The, um, oh, damn, I wish I should have brought it up here. I need to get those stands so I can put my hits uh, for future videos. But the Vladdy negative from the last video, check it out. It's it's really cool looking. Those, those negatives are uh, pretty awesome. I think it's a one out of, what's the negative on here? I think it's like out of 143. So, not an easy rip, but I got lucky to get one of him. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that redemption. Didn't even see that sneak up on me, so. Nick Silver. And Schmidt and Jeff McNeil. So curious, you know, put in the comments, what have you guys been, what have you guys been thinking about Chrome this year? You done with it? You gonna wait for the prices to go down further, possibly? Or like I said, I think it's been. Um, there's a nice Mount Castle. Speak of the devil. Let's double up on him there. These are cool. I do like the baseball, baseball uh, inserts here. Don't think I've got that one. <clears throat> and as I've been kind of learning this year, watching different breakers, um, and just getting a feel for, you know, which sets tend to have the most value. Obviously, Chrome is one of the top ones, and Bowman Chrome coming out soon. Um, but it still feels like the rookie class, since nobody's really been a standout this year. That uh, that's why the card value hasn't shot up during the season. Like I guess in years past, obviously you don't have a Tatis or an Acuna in this, or an Otani or a, uh, even a Bichette. But uh, you never know with these guys. I mean, this guy, I've been PCing him as well since the start of the year. Yeah, he was called the worst third baseman in baseball from his own announcers, but, you know, kid can turn around in the next couple of years and have an awesome career, so. You never know. Just got to uh, put these and file them away and see who emerges from this class. 
<clears throat> All right, come on. Give me a prism or a parallel of a top rookie. That's what I'm hoping for here. Schwarber. Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. Here's another negative. So McNeil. So not the greatest player, but these cards are dope. I love the look of these guys. So this one will be on eBay. So if you're a Mets fan, you can grab yourself a Jeff, Mc, Jeff McNeil X-ray or negative card. And there we go. That's cool. That's cool for the PC right there. Buster Sepia. Awesome. Like that look. Buster's definitely an old old school type player. Looks perfect in that type of uh, tone. That was a good pack. All right, I'll try to speed it up here in the last two. There we go, in Adele. Space. Hater. There's Bo. You know you're getting old when you used to collect his dad. All these guys' is dads. Vladdy's dad, Bo's dad, Biggio's dad. It's kind of funny. Apostle. Buck. Menez. And Patino. So Tani eighty six coming. Verlander. <laughs> Refractor of Longoria. Alright, we'll take that. He's been providing some pop here for the Giants at the end of the year. There's a nice Otani. With the uh the giant uh, oven mitts for <laughs> stealing bases in the back pocket there. <clears throat> Still haven't been able to hit any of the top rookies as a prism. Gotten a few refractors, but no pinks. Door still in a Indians uniform. Don't get that. Come on, tops. You've got plenty of time to switch that over to the Mets unless you're just going to do it an update. Cunha's got some really cool cards. Looking forward to having him come back next year. His stadium club card's pretty awesome, too. Casey Mize Refractor, Juan Soto Insert. All right, last box. There we go. There we go. Nice. Kirilov Prism. Let's leave that one up while we're here. That's a good one. Pulled a Kirilov auto out of Gypsy Queen. Along with the Jazz one earlier this year. Another guy in PC. Same thing with Dylan Carlson. Another guy. Yellick. Ray, Jose Ramirez. Tatis. There's a Jazz. Base. And Tatis 86. left well thanks for hanging around I'll get better and faster at ripping these just kind of taking the time it is still 154 in the morning so a little slow been a long day but 
it's good to end the day with a couple rips. Another rookie parallel. <clears throat> You wonder why is it that I open cards so darn late? It's because it's quiet in my house when all the kids are in, are asleep. If you got kids, you don't understand. When you have kids, you'll understand. San Diego pinks, not a Cronenworth. Or a Tatis. I don't even think I've pulled the Tatis Chrome base card yet. Voight. Ranger Posey. Nice baseball. And Big Meat Pete. Last pack. All right. Grandall, Woodruff, and Paddock. So that wraps it up. So not too bad. I mean, from a set collecting perspective, I got pretty much a ton of cards I didn't already have. Got uh, the Kirillov Prism. So that's a good one for rookies. And picked up a couple other base crony, Cronin words and jazz. And then the star of the show is the autograph Mount Castle Parallel Blue Refractor Auto. So this will be very cool to have and uh, add to the old uh, Mount Castle collection. So we all know the autos in here suck. 60% or 70% are all pitchers at 133 names. So nice to pull one of these out of a blaster. So they do exist. Uh, anyways, thanks for hanging around. Um, as always, brand new channel, just kind of starting up. I mean, it's been fun to kind of see just you know, random 10, 15 people already subscribing, so that's awesome. And uh, we'll get more more rips coming um, in the upcoming couple days. We'll have Hobby Light for Chrome, and then also should be ripping a Donner's Hobby Box for football for those that uh, want to celebrate the kickoff this weekend. So, again... Give a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next time. Thanks.